Hey everybody, so today I'm going to make you a new MacBook Air tips and tricks video. This video can be applied to pretty much any Apple product. There's nothing here that's specifically about the MacBook Air. It's just the device that I am working on. So why don't we just get started? So up here, you have your spotlight search right up here in the corner. But instead of clicking on this button every time, oh yeah, you can move this around by the way. If you're just somewhere that it needs to be done, you can just hit command spacebar. It'll pop right up for you. Spotlight Search is going to find all of your apps in your computer and anything that you tell it to search for. And what Spotlight can search for is if you open up System Preferences and go over here into Spotlight. Anything here that is checked, Spotlight is going to index and be able to search for you. And honestly, if you are using a private computer, there is nothing wrong with having it index everything because you are looking through your own files, so there's no real privacy risk there. And Spotlight can do all sorts of cool things for us. So if you need a quick conversion, 10 US dollars to Canadian dollars, we'll say, boom, right there, pulls it right up for you. Or if you need to know how many centimeters in one or two inches, yeah, Spotlight doesn't know, but you know who does? Google knows, so you can just enter it, and boom, right there, one inch, 2.54 centimeters. Or if you don't even want to go through that much work, um, you can just be lazy. One centimeter, give you a bunch of little uh, popular, I guess, whatever you want to call it, popular searches. Or I think you can even do temperature. I mean, this can really do any conversion you can think of. 50 degrees. Yep, there it is, Fahrenheit, Celsius, and Kelvin for all you scientific nerds out there. So next up, multitasking. My computer is four years old, but these things can just really keep a punch going. I mean, we got two browsers open, FaceTime, we have Final Cut Pro open, we have all sorts of stuff going on in the background now. So say uh, you want to switch over and you're like, well, I don't want to go through all the menus. You can just hit F3 up here on your keyboard and it's going to open up all of your available menus. And then when you click on one, decide where you want to be. And then you are back into the full screen mode. So a different form of multitasking, say you have your calendars open and your notes, but you want to view them side by side. You can just take this little green button here on one of the apps, click and hold it, set it over to one of these sections that is like assigned in this blue drop it, open up your next menu, and now you have two side-by-side -side working menus completely independent of one another. And then when you're done, just come up here and then click on the green and away it goes. Now you're saying, where'd my other app go? Oh, if you look down here, still open, brings you right back to your full screen mode because that's where you left it. And then to minimize, again, just the green one. And to close, goodbye. This next one is something I use all the time because I am a huge nerd. So let's go somewhere that has a lot of text. So we'll just go over here to Social Blade and say we didn't know what the word analy analytics meant. So we can just double click by pressing with two fingers with your trackpad on analytics, look up, and your dictionary pops right up for you and it will populate what the word analytics mean or really any word. The Mac has a built-in dictionary right here but this is just a way faster way to look up instead of opening your launchpad, opening up dictionary, waiting for it, typing in analytics, making sure you spell it right. You can just click, look up, done. I'm telling you, it seems like something you won't use very often, but it is something that I use all the time, making sure I'm using the right word, making sure I'm understanding the word correctly. There's just a lot of good with a pop-up dictionary. It's so quick, so easy. Now, if you're using a Mac, you'll have you noticed that there's a lot of shortcuts involved with Mac. You can open something, Command M minimizes it, Command H will hide it all together, Command Q quits things. There are so many quick options with Macs and it's why I've grown to love it so much. Now, speaking of quick shortcuts and all that other stuff, your trackpad has so much magic into it. So if we open up System Preferences by using our Spotlight Search, head on over into your trackpad, and you'll notice there are options with little animations over here for literally everything. This trackpad does so much, as you can see I have literally all of them selected I think, because it just they all work, it's nice, they're not like gimmicky. 
this one comes in handy, swiping between full pages, uh, full apps, you can use the third finger, your notification center, which is right over here, your notifications today. This is also where your night shift and your do not disturb hide as well. You have all of your widgets, which are sorted right here under the edit button. And you can add, take things out, make it your own. I'll check my do not disturb because it is not nighttime. So a new thing that the MacBooks have that has been implemented since my first video is Siri right up here next to the spotlight search. And you can click on Siri. Always sitting here ready and listening for you. Or over into your system preferences head into Siri. And there is, again, another shortcut for Siri. So you can hold Command Space, Option Space, FN, or you can make your own. So Siri can always be right there waiting for you at a click of whatever button you decide to choose on your keyboard. All right, guys, um, this was just a quick run over of an old video I made. I wanted to make a more modern one, one that had a little bit better editing. And this was pretty much focused on getting the most out of your Mac in terms of quick, this is meant for people who need to multitask and really just get along with their day. If you guys would like me to do a beginner's guide to Mac or maybe a more advanced guide to Mac with some more tips and tricks in the real nitty gritty, let me know. Let me show you my face really quick. Let me know, I look like a mess. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like to see more. And I hope you guys enjoyed the updated version of the MacBook tutorial and all of its little shortcuts that they have. All right, guys, I'm going to go because this FaceTime camera is not doing me justice, and I'll catch you in the next video.